maybe say the passed away thing so she can say I'm sorry. And then, no, no, it was, it was fine. It was I read you know. an early draft of Marry Me, and I was struck by the classic feeling of the movie. It really feels like an old-fashioned rom-com, but infused with a modernity, especially in regards to social media and celebrity and fame. Pat Valdez, she's a superstar, a global kind of superstar. She's strong and confident. She's a businesswoman, she's a boss, but also she's just a regular person. She's a regular girl who is, you know, gets lonely and who needs love. When I first heard the pitch, I thought, wow, to lift the curtain on celebrity a little bit, to do something that's sort of Roman Holiday meets Notting Hill, that felt like an event. You. When you first kind of hear it, oh, that sounds pretty far-fetched that the superstar at a concert all of a sudden marries some guy out of the crowd. But when you read the story, somehow, I don't know, I kind of went along with it. Crowd. One of the great things with a director is being able to kind of sit with them and really talk through the character and what that journey is and who they are. And Kat and I really had a great rapport in that way. There's also the literal language of Spanish that she yes. said that the chef shared. Working with Kat was amazing. She loves to make you feel comfortable in every scene. Kat sent me the script and we had some great conversations and she kind of saw me playing the part and her ideas for Charlie Gilbert, I usually feel are right on target. You guys will come from the balloon arch. Owen and Jennifer together from the first moment just had this chemistry that was exciting and unexpected. Uh. I could really picture them and made me swoon a little. I like when people are a, a match that are a, like a yin to their yang. Excellent point. Sarah Silverman, I've always loved her, so I was excited when she was cast as my best friend in the movie. It's your turn. My time to shine. Yeah. I absolutely love working with everybody. And Jennifer Lopez, Noah Wilson, I mean, they are such big icons for me. And it was like a double whammy dream come true to get to work with them. Dad, Dad that is you. That is you. Oh. Owen and I are so very different, too, <laughs> which kind of worked for the characters. Hearing his perspective on Charlie and my kind of perspective on Kat and how different we thought about things. She's having to pick between these two worlds, kind of the world I'm from, you know, kind of a simple life, and then this superstardom. Bastian, he's a lover. He loves life, he loves Cat, but he's also in love with his music. He's in love with his career. He feels a lot of pressure, <laughs> and he started taking wrong decisions. Who you are as people is what really matters. Do they make you feel safe and secure? Do they make you feel at home? That's where Charlie winds up winning, even though Bastion's pretty cool, too. And action. OK, ready? That's it right there. That's where I need you. The movie is its own love story to New York City. When you have the biggest star in the world, she has to live in the biggest city in the world, and she has to live high up in the sky. We put her looking out over the world, and being at that up high, you're lonely also. So we wanted to do away with a lot of extra stuff and know that there was a loneliness there. We really wanted to create a contrast to what Owen's world was like. So in her world, we always have Kofi, her videographer, who follows her around and does everything. So we actually attempt to use a lot of his footage in the movie and to get that sense of mixed media, and it's not as organic as, as his world. Rolling. Yes! Did you get that? We really wanted to make Kat feel like not Jennifer. She has the essence of a real iconic, glamorous, celebrity. But after she meets Charlie and starts falling in love, her fabrics get softer, her palette gets sweeter. We trend away from the blacks and the leathers and into a more cashmere's and the pinks and the light blues as his world sort of seeps into hers. You were amazing, Lou. You took a shot even though it was so scary. I think people want to see movies that give them hope. And it's not about hope of marrying a superstar. It's about hope that ultimately you will find your way. That is romantic. Hope is romantic. Those differences is what the movie's about. No matter how big and 
you know, famous you are. You just want a simple life. You want to be happy. As a filmmaker, it might sound kind of cheesy, but the world is so dark these days that it's a breath of fresh air to have something that legitimately makes people smile and feel happy.